When a nation becomes ill, what then? Every great crisis in Western civilization has prompted a reconsideration of human nature, and we are in the midst of just that crisis right now. We are all feeling it today, a general confusion, the sense that the foundational middle ground has been lost. In the age of equality, guilt has now emerged as the central problem. The question I ask of my students and I ask of you is this, what would you do to lift the burden of guilt? Would you renounce your nation? Would you renounce your mediating institutions? Would you renounce your history? Would you renounce your monuments? The problem with identity politics is that a victim one day can become a transgressor the next day. There is a never-ending search for new victims, and those who are innocent one day will always become the transgressors the next. You must purge toxic masculinity. You must purge the deplorables. If they win, there must be some other reason why they win, perhaps some other stain in the world, perhaps Russian collusion or something. It's simply impossible from the vantage point of identity politics to give any credence whatsoever to those who it renders as deplorable. Identity politics wishes to destroy all those mediating institutions. The family that we so desperately need is accused of being heteronormative. The churches that we so desperately need are accused of being homophobic. Our local institutions, these are rife with racism. The state has to step in. The problem then is that identity politics wishes to destroy the very mediating institutions through which alone we can build a world of liberty.